Well, a major discovery is revealing how prehistoric animals once lived, moved, and even hunted right here in Oregon. John Day Fossil Beds National Monument in Central Oregon is mostly known for its collection of intact fossils such as bones or teeth, but the recent findings belong to a different category. A team of researchers unearthed fossilized footprints, and they're giving scientists new insight into the behavior of birds, mammals, and reptiles that roamed the region up to 50 million years ago. The researchers used cutting-edge 3D technology to analyze four unique sets of fossil tracks found in two different rock layers. It's photogrammetry, so that methodology takes a bunch of photographs and stitches together a model from the photos. And that was able to give us a high resolution model that let us see all the little details that were much harder to see. People kept keep asking me, can you send a photo of the specimen? And I'm like, I'm not that good of a photographer. I can't, I can't do that. Um, right. I mean, I need all kinds of fancy stuff to be able to see those tracks as clearly as you do in the models. Right. So that was one of the great things from the models. The tracks include those of birds, a lizard, a cat-like predator, and a large herbivore, possibly a prehistoric tapir. The bird tracks found alongside invertebrate trails and beak marks suggest ancient shorebirds foraged in shallow waters, a behavior strikingly similar to how modern birds feed today. The bird tracks tell us something really awesome because as we were going through that process, we were looking at the specimens, we were having a discussion, you know, he came in to me and was like, oh, I think that these little, you know, ovoid, you know, oval shapes are built like, um, sorry, the raindrops. And I was like, I don't know, that looks kind of weird. And we looked more into it and we're like, what if they're beak marks, right? From the bird, of the, you know, from the beak's uh, bill, right? And then we looked, started looking up videos of shorebirds feeding and that was a lot of fun, just, you know, hours of us looking at, you know, little plovers on, on a lakeshore. And that's when we realized, wow, this is what we have. Okay, another rare find, a fossilized lizard track showing splayed toes and claws, likely left as the reptile darted across a muddy lake bed. Scientists say it's one of the few known lizard tracks from this era in all of North America. What was also really interesting is the three-toed ungulate track, the bird and the lizard were all the first evidence of those groups of animals from those rock layers that we find them in. But perhaps most exciting is a set of large paw prints from 29 million years ago, likely left by a cat, a saber-toothed animal similar to a modern-day bobcat. Tracks from a large herbivore were also discovered. Those provide more clues about the diversity of species that once thrived in prehistoric Oregon. And they add critical behavioral context to an already rich fossil record at the monument. Getting our data out there is the best way to get people interested in working on our specimens or even wanting to go out and do more field work, right? I mean, there's possibility. We've found four tracks. Uh, there's the possibility of more. Well, to learn more about the recent discovery, or if you'd like to visit the fossil beds yourself, you can head to nps.gov slash J-O-D-A. Stick with us. We're back right after this.